Welcome back to my another episode and today I want to introduce you the only 2022 MG6 Pro. We know that MG was stock leased in 1924 and later it owned by a Chinese manufacturer company SIC Group which is considered one of the top leading manufacturer company in China along with Fa Hongqi, Chang'an and Donghong Motors. So the previous version of MG6 came to the Chinese market at the beginning of this year and it was pretty popular among to the Chinese customers because the vehicle was a little bit sporty and good looking and also the price was reasonable. So MC tried to upgrade the same design. So let's talk about the all new 2022 MG6 Pro. The MG6 Pro came up with a new front grille which is functional with a front camera and they use the air diffuser at the front and also at the back. And here also you will get the same LED daytime brownlig light, LED fog lamps and the LED headlight. And it will ensure the optimal visibility on the road day and night. So they use the same engine. 1.5 liter turbo four cylinder gasoline engine with 7 speed dual class transmission and the total power output will be 179 horsepower along with 284 newton meter torque so basically they haven't changed anything uh, it's the same power train you will get in the 2022 mg6 pro so let me close this one Look at the side view of this uh, new vehicle, it looks pretty good, uh, especially I like this black design. They use the black color at the front, side and also rear. It looks pretty good. So the height for the car 1.4 meter, length 4.7 meter and the wheelbase is 2.7 meter. Front wheel distance 1.6 meter and the rear wheel distance 1.6 meter. Ground clearance it will be around 20 centimeter, not more than 20 centimeter. There is no camera with the side mirror, but should have a camera. And you will get 17 or 18 inch wheels with Bristol tire, and the tire size is 225 by 45, R17 or R18. Only 2022 M6 Pro, it looks so sporty from the back. Here you will get a spoiler and a 360 degree camera with two air diffuser and two exhaust. These are completely functional, it's not the fake. And also you will get some sensor at the back. So let me open the trunk. Here you will get 470 liter storage capacity at the back, which is good enough as a seated. And the LED tail light is the same design we used to see in previous version, so there is no difference. And here you will get the trophy signature and the fuel tank. You can carry 50 liter fuel, and the fuel cost will be 6.2 liter per 100 kilometer. So the interior looks a little bit upgraded, and the layer of the cabin has been retained. There are new white bucket seats and the new orange color incense all around. So let's look at the interior. It's a power adjustable seat. You can adjust your seat. And you will get the same kind of leather after steering wheels we used to see in the previous version with two paddle shifter. And here is the super sport button. And you will get the PVC leather in the dashboard and also one, two, three, four, four AC fans at the front. And here is the hazard button. These all are the soft leather, there is no plastic which is really good and also you will get a small box you can carry some of your stuff start and stop button is here and a very small screen with some piano type switch and here is a wireless charger with two cup holders a small box you can carry some of your stuff and the uh, gear knob it looks the same there is no upgrade and a hidden space with two USB port. So I'm sitting at the back, I got enough like space, enough head space and also you will get two cup holder with the armrest and the seats are looking good, it's 
very soft and the color combination is also good. Here you will get two USB port and also two AC fan. Let's talk about the performance of this vehicle. Zero to 100, the acceleration speed. They officially haven't mentioned yet, but they told me it will take around 7.3 or 7.4 second. And the top speed is 210 km per hour. As I mentioned before, it got the same powertrain, 1.5 liter turbo, four cylinder, gasoline engine with seven speed dual class transmission. So for Chinese market, the price is only 110K RMB to 130K RMB. Uh, if I convert to the US dollar, it would be around 17 to 19,000 US dollar. And I hope this vehicle will be available in the global market at the beginning of next year. And there are not so many changes. Uh, actually, it's the same vehicle, same powertrain, same interior, same rear, but it got a little bit new design at the front and came up with a new front grill. So that's all. Hope you guys will like it. Keep supporting me. Do subscribe my channel. Until then, bye-bye.